Deanna here from Futures Past Boutique, and today I'm going to show you something I picked up at a thrift shop yesterday. I believe this is antique Japanese moriage um, porcelain, and I think it's um, Nippon. Nippon? Nippon? <laughs> Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Um, it has just a four digit number in gold gilled on the bottom, and a very, very faded stamp that I can barely make out. It's almost invisible. I can only see um, remnants of it from looking in a certain light in a, at a certain angle. It has gold gilded peacocks, flowers, and oriental looking insects. I see beetles and butterflies on it. So I'm going to give you a close up and show you all the workmanship on it. It has double handles and a removable top, so I believe actually it's an urn or some kind of vase. The gold gilding is very mirror-like and it's very shiny as you can see. Some of the butterflies and little insects. It's very foggy out today here in Long Island and it's damp out. So if you see little droplets of moisture around because of that. And when I say moriage, from what I read, moriage is like little beading and you can see it, it's throughout the piece. There's a little beetle. Let me take off the top and show you what it looks like. It's a trophy shaped vase. And the bottom it has like a fluted pedestal. And it's quite fancy and ornate. It's very good porcelain. It has a very good quality to it. Now you can see the beading a little better. Let me lift it up. Now you can see the gold gilding. See how it's like mirror-like? It glimmers and gleams. It's lovely uh, hand painting. It's a little mark. And there is, a, a, like I told you, a faded mark somewhere on it. And I can't show it. There's no way. Because I can only see it in certain angles. So thanks for watching, and if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button and a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. Have a great day.